Hi, I'm Andy. This is Brain Buzz. Today I'm doing something a little bit differently. This is the very first time I'm going to be posting one of these videos on LinkedIn. So hi, LinkedIn followers. This is a tale of mental health and empathy and leadership and vulnerability and hope. Because sometimes the path you least expect is the one that leads you exactly where you need to be. I have to admit, I saw the Fig Bites job. That's where I'm going to be working, by the way. I saw the Fig Bites job posting a while back and slept on it. It was just before I gave my resignation, I believe. And although the job posting with Fig Bites caught my attention because of their values, I saw ESG and I convinced myself I had no place in an industry I know nothing about. I was afraid it would be hard, and I wasn't sure I had it in me. You see, even though I had faith that leaving my job would work out, my mental wellness was not great. I was made to feel worthless for so long I believed it, and it affected everything I did. I apologize for all of the interviews I did during this time. I know they were bad. I was trying so hard to convince myself I was good enough to be there. I forgot to convince you. It was also just a few days before the frenzy that ensued after I announced on LinkedIn that I had quit and was looking for work. My post brought me over 40 opportunities in a one week period all incredible companies, from big names to hot startups and everything in between. That helped me get my mojo back, and I was finally starting to see my worth. But I forgot about fig bites and all of the chaos of offers, and I pursued other big opportunities that I thought I wanted. That's the issue, isn't it? I thought I wanted to join one of those hot companies because I assumed if everyone wants to join, it must mean that they treat people well. I was desperate for recognition of my worth, and I assumed the big title at the big name company would validate me. I was so convinced of this that I pursued one opportunity hard. I prepared a well thought out 20 minute presentation completely redesigned my portfolio, I reworked my case studies, and I had a great interview. And they still passed on me. They said I didn't prove I could work in a fast-paced environment. Like it's my fault my last employer was slow. <laughs> I was devastated. The arbitrary nature of being passed on was bothering me and I felt less valued than ever before. I struggle quite a bit with imposter syndrome. It comes and goes, but most days I waffle somewhere between I'm the best designer you'll ever meet and I'll solve all your problems and everyone thinks I suck and I should just quit pretending I know what I'm doing. Having companies interview me only to tell me I'm great, but I should just join as a contributor instead of a leader did not help my imposter syndrome. Hearing feedback that was simply untrue hurt me, and I started questioning if I was the issue. I thought I needed that big win to help push me past my toxic work relationship and feeling better about myself. But what I needed was someone who would actually care for me and make me feel valued. I needed to know my own worth. There's that word again, worth. When you feel worthless, you feel powerless, stuck. I knew I couldn't continue doing interviews that were draining all my confidence and worth. So I decided I would hit pause for a while. I withdrew from a bunch of opportunities. I had a great contract actually that would keep me busy and paid, and hopefully help me rebuild my worth. Delivering a quality experience for them and helping them thrive would give me that boost in confidence that I needed.
but that's when John reached out. John is a recruiter I worked with over 10 years prior. He saw my posts on LinkedIn and understood what I was looking for. It turned out he had a company he felt was a perfect match. Don't all recruiters think that all the time? <laughs> but John is a pretty special kind of recruiter. He understands the human aspect of it, and he's damn good at knowing who to connect. He recommended FigBytes to me, and I told him where I was at mentally and how I felt about the job. That it looked great on paper, but I didn't know anything about ESG. He encouraged me to take the interview because he felt I would connect with the hiring manager. He wasn't wrong. From the moment I met Zoe, I felt completely at ease. I can't explain why. Sometimes we just meet people and instantly recognize them. We had a wonderful conversation about the value of caring for users' mental wellness in the UX process and about creating psychological safe spaces for the team and about leadership. While I don't hide any of my neurodiversity and mental health struggles, I also don't typically push the topic much in an interview setting. I feel most people don't understand and are just afraid of it. And I've seen that play out in other interviews. But this was different. I felt comfortable sharing more than usual. And shortly after the call was done, Zoe took the time to reach out on LinkedIn, having seen my last day post, to empathize with my situation and reassure me that my neurodiversity is valued. I can't tell you how hard that hit me. It affected me to my core. <laughs> I'm actually tearing up right now a little bit as I think about it. One simple message of kindness from a stranger let me feel seen and heard and understood for the first time in a very long time. It felt like I was speaking in a different language to everyone around me, wondering why no one could understand me. And then Zoe came along and spoke my language back to me. It was the seed that allowed my worth to grow. And every time I speak to Zoe, I feel like she's watering that seed. Every conversation is genuine and open and true and makes me feel better about myself. I feel like I already belong and I haven't even started yet. That's a testament to Zoe as a person and to everyone at FigBytes who has reached out with so much love and support before I even started. As for the hiring process, it was fast and efficient. Two interviews and an awesome freeform chat with my direct report, whom I'm very excited to work with. And that was it. The onboarding experience seems great too, but I'll have to share more about that once I go through it. But I really like the concepts I've seen so far. They have manager debrief meetings at the end of every day, my first week. And they've even paired me with a buddy to help ease me in. Companies, take note this is a very helpful practice for people who are on the spectrum like me. The strange part is, as I sit here, finally talking about why this felt so profound, I struggle to come up with the reasons. At the end of the day, I just had good conversations with good people who wished for my success and happiness. It seems like such a basic thing. Be the best version of yourself and help others be the best versions of themselves. And yet, the very fact that this felt so profound is proof that this is not what we experience daily. Let's change that together. 